Yeah, so working with Shelley and My Shrine for us was the first time that we'd actually uh, brought on an interior designer for any of our projects. Um, so it was a very new experience. We always have this, you know, function over form uh, mentality when, when we're approaching our restaurants and bringing Shelley on board, she came with amazing ideas and it was more form over function, I'd say, with just so many beautiful, brilliant aesthetics that we'd never think of personally. Um, and so between the two of us, we just sort of worked together back and forth in that medium and I think we come up with an absolutely stunning space. Yeah, it was really enjoyable working with both the boys for me because they come with such a high level of education and understanding of their business that we really had to make the restaurant function, we had to make sure that it was durable, we also had to make sure that everything within the interior supported what they do, which is they're such incredible food people. So I had an amazing experience because it's just such a privilege to work with people who are so fantastic in their space. Yeah, so the inspiration for this space, obviously we have a very strong brand that most people know in Milkamadu, which is located in Rawa, um, which is quite close to here in many respects. But we really wanted to make this, you know, a real beachy type vibe as we're quite close to the beach here. And this location is really well known for surfing and that type of thing. Um, so that was really our idea, just to have the Milkamadu experience, but with a more beachy vibe. And then that's when Shelly came on board. <laughs> yeah, so when we were brainstorming the idea, in the, when we were looking into the first storyboards, we definitely went down more of the original um, Milkamadu look. But at one point, we were like, something wasn't sitting right with both of us. And I was like, so we, we shifted it a little bit into a, more of a beach shack, but an elevated beach shack, and a space that you can come in barefooted, you can come in and leave your surfboard outside. The guys really wanted to make it a second home for people, an approachable space. They didn't want it to feel elevated. They wanted to feel like somewhere where you can come in with your wet swimmers and have your coffee before after a surf. In the beach road venue that we've created, we have our four different sections, our main sections, the bakery and desserts, which is also coffees. Um, we have our main pass where the bulk of the food comes out. We have our pizza area, which also has a wood-fired uh, barbecue and our beautiful little bar as well. So they're the three major parts inside the business that Shelley had to kind of design to make sure worked functionally and also looked really beautiful. Yeah, so it was interesting coming up with the aesthetic footprint for this place because of course the guys have such an iconic brand. They're really like masters in the F&B space. So we wanted to make sure that it had its own unique aesthetic footprint. So what we did is for the bathroom sinks and things, we actually took surfboard resin, inspiration from the surfing culture and turned it into sinks. So we actually use materials like the cement tiles, like you can see behind us. They're a very, um, they're actually just made out of casual cement mixed in with a pigment with a high gloss finish. But because it's such an effortless material, it really matches the guy's brand. A lot of the stonework is actually traditional palimanan installed in like traditional stone masonry technique. So what you see in a lot of places in Bali is they cut the stone apart, it goes in and it doesn't have an organic nature to it. Because we wanted it to feel really relaxed and timeless, we use this old stone masonry method where they chip it apart, install it, that looks so, so much more organic and beautiful. And, and then, you know, in the um, counter, we brought in corrugated iron, which is a traditional building material, but by doing it in a matte finish, it just really elevates that material. So we used everyday materials in an elevated way to create the boys a really unique aesthetic footprint. is we're really trying to look after the crowd of people that sometimes I feel is forgotten. It's people my age that have young children, um, that want to have a beautiful place to have a great high quality meal, but also where the kids can come and be entertained and looked after at the same time. So, you know, we're, we're a venue that's open from 7 a.m. and usually when we're not, <laughs> you know, under restrictions until 11 o'clock at night. Um, so being able to hit all of those time slots and offer a really amazing offering to the people of Changu and Bali and all the visitors is, that was really our goal. So it's a place that you can come not once a week, but potentially two or three times a week and, and feel very comfortable. So it's like a second home for yourself, your kids, your family. Um, and it doesn't always have to feel like some extravagant experience, but when you're here, you do feel spoiled. <laughs> So it was 
really interesting working with Jordi and Pablo because a lot of the times you come into a restaurant and they want to fit as many tables into that space as possible because it's all about turnover. What I loved with these guys is they allocated space for lifestyle, for living, to have such an amazing playground where you can have 30 or 40 kids running around, a deep well, an activity center. It really is supporting the family values that Milka Madu um, also represents. So I love that the boys took a huge risk in you know prime real estate to set up this amazing playground, we'll show you in a minute, that allows mothers and fathers to sit and have a good time, but also for the kids to run around and have a nice experience too. <laughs> Yeah, it was an absolute um, gift to work with Jordi and Pablo on this process. Um, I, I loved it because it was a real meeting of the equals. Like they come with so much knowledge and such a generous heart in what they know. And we didn't work against each other. There was no ego involved. We really put our energies in, invested. And when there was time to pivot the design or evolve it, we are both on board throughout the journey. Like a lot of the times you can have a design signed off and clients just want to go that way but we had the same organic um, way of approaching the project where we allowed it to evolve in its own time and its own space and what happened is we ended up with a much better result because we were both on, on board for the ride right <laughs> and so this project was a total pleasure and personally the boys are just so much fun to hang around <laughs> Yeah, so one of the, the wonderful things about working with Shelley um, is her her knowledge just far exceeded ours when it comes to design and stuff like that. Even though we built a few restaurants in the past and you know done a done a good job, her knowledge of just materials, building design, um, and all of the contacts were just incredible. So we were able to do something that's way more elevated than we could would ever think of doing. On a personal level, working with Shelley, um, she's just so. Uh, generous in her time, um, so accommodative, you can call her at any time, but don't do that. Um, and she just, she's just there, she's just 100% there when she's doing a project with you and you can absolutely feel it and um, yeah, can't wait to work with her on another project soon. Thank you.